Hello and welcome back to another Risk of Rain 2 Switch video here. So I know I've done a couple videos on this game before, but I wanted to take a look at I've reviewed it, shown how it can look after a long run. How does it look if you actually work with this system? Is there any way to make this game run a little better? And if you want this game to run as smoothly as it can for as long as it can, I'd recommend avoiding this artifact right here, Swarm, and Kin as well. Swarm doubles the monster spawn, so that just doubles the pull on the memory. And Kin tends to spawn elite monsters faster, so that causes, again, more drain on the memory because elites cause different effects, which then the game has to remember. Anyway, let's run into the game, see if there's any way you can actually make it run decently well through at least 8 levels. So, some tips that I've learned from playing this game. If you want this to run well, there are a couple items you want to avoid loading up on. Those being Gore's Tome, Sticky Bomb, Bandolier, and Monster's Tooth. Those items, whenever you kill a monster, tend to drop an item on the ground or a particle, whatever you want to call it. But that particle there fills up the memory. Just a little bit. Which isn't bad early on, but once you get into later levels, when you're killing 30, 40, 50 monsters at a time, and it has to drop 30, 40, 50 healing orbs on the ground, plus the Gore's Tome gold nuggets, plus bandolier ammo boxes, plus sticky bombs on all of them, all per each second that the game is running, it tends to really fill up the memory really fast. So, if you want this game to run smooth, I'd avoid stacking up on them. Getting one or two is not bad. But if they're always triggering, it's going to slow down your game quite a bit. So far, I mean, it's, I mean, it's not perfect. I'm not gonna sugarcoat. It's not great. You get a good, expensive PC. It's gonna run nicer than this. But honestly, if this is the only way you have to play the game, this is a really valid way to do it. I'm about to die. Even through the little hiccup there at the beginning, where the boss had spawned and everything was kind of going south where it dropped down to however many frames per second it's come right back again pretty fast now that things clear up now that the bosses are gone it's right back to where it was and it's feeling really smooth again this is level 8 about 24 minutes in 23 so it's feeling pretty good if they could just tweak the game a hair more maybe drop the FPS I'd live with 30 if the game ran a little smoother longer but if they could just tweak the game a little bit more, it would be really nice to play. Especially for being able to take this game on the go with the Switch, and also just the portability of it, and not having to put a ton of money into a good computer to run the game well. But anyway, I think that's going to end this video off. Eight levels is about as long as my attention span is. If you want to see more videos like this, you can check out my channel and subscribe to the channel too to see the next video whenever it comes out. I do a couple of Risk of Rain videos, I do Risk of Rain live streams too, also some Breath of the Wild live streams and videos, and a couple Minecraft ones here and there whenever I feel like it. But anyway, let's end things off here with the bang. So thanks so much for watching and I shall see you all in the next one. Take care!